Hey, I'm Andrew Whiteford here in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. I've lived out here about six years now. Moved from uh, growing up in New England, Connecticut, Massachusetts, and went to school at the University of Vermont. Uh, since coming out here, I've grabbed a GoPro and started documenting my skiing around Jackson Hole. That gained me a little notoriety, and now I'm happily supported with GoPro, line skis, full tilt boots, Jackson Hole Mountain Resort, backcountry.com, Dekine, Smith Optics and Oraj Skiwear. Uh, for 2013, I'm going to be on the Influence 115 from Line, completely redesigned from last year, and uh, just an incredibly well rounded big mountain ski for us. The Line Influence 115 is available in a 179, 186, and 192 centimeters. Uh, it's 115 underfoot, obviously. The tip is at about 145. And then at the tail, it tapers down to 131. It's a cap wall construction, which is a blend of both uh, rolling over the cap construction and then sidewall underfoot, where you really need the strength and the power transmission. Running through the length of the ski, you've got a carbon ollie band, which provides a lot of pop and energy to the ski. It's really lively. Um, and that's laid around a metal matrix, so there is a level actually two la layers of metal inside the ski. We thinned them out this year to reduce weight a little bit. And this is all on a maple macro block uh, core. So really dependable, consistent feel to the ski. Um, really strong, but with a lot of energy. Uh, one of the new features this year as well is the thin tip technology. So up at the tip of the ski, you don't need a, a whole lot of burliness in the tip. It's rising up out of the snow. You can still lay it over, but there's not the deflection nor the extra weight um, hanging up up there. The skis have early rise in both the tip and the tail to help uh, let you float right out of the powder snow or through crud and uh, any chop, you're rising up above it. Meanwhile, we also have early taper. The widest point of the ski is brought down a bit in both the tip and forward in the tail, and that helps you get a really playful feel. You can slide the ski around underfoot, uh, kind of slarve your turns where you need to, but yet you still have a longer effective running length. So one of the best attributes of the Influence 115 skis is the fact that you can take it from deep powder, right through crud, onto hard pack groomer, back to the lift at the bottom of the mountain. Um, really without missing a beat. So they've got tremendous edge hold. Um, underfoot, you've got a vertical sidewall, so you have a lot of power and energy transmission going straight to the edges. Um, so when you need to on hard pack, you can really lay it over. Um, they have a turn radius of about 22 meters, so right in the middle of the range. And a lot of people look at that one number by itself and think that that dictates how a ski performs, how it rides, how it feels in every condition. But when you combine that with newer technologies like early taper, early rise, the thin tips, um, it really becomes a, a more well-rounded picture of the ski. Um, you know, I've, I use this regardless of the conditions on any given day. Line calls uh, their geometry a five cut geometry. Essentially what it means is that if you're over the front of the ski, they're gonna hook up and turn aggressively. When you're over the center of the ski and really neutral, it's got a, a very predictable feel to it. And then if you start coming over the back, it feels like a longer ski and a longer turn radius. So um, I've never considered them to be hooky or grabby in, in powder, but at the same time you can lay over an arc and then run it right into a, a nice long straight line without them hooking up. So big shout out to Jason Leventhal, all the line guys and everyone back in Vermont, all my friends in VT, Meathead Films, SkiTheEast.net, everybody that's out there shredding the hardwoods around Stowe and all the college kids at UVM, UVM Ski and Snowboard Club. Again, I was super excited to be involved in the development of the 2013 Line Influence Ski and I'm extremely proud of what we've come up with. I think everybody's going to be really psyched and pleased and hopefully out shredding powder sooner than later.
for 2013. You can follow me at andrewwhiteford.net. Uh, you can find line skis at your local dealer or backcountry.com. Check out Ski Profit at Ski Gear TV for all your ski gear reviews, boots, anything you need in the winter. It's on there. And uh, get out and shred the season. <laughs>